I almost dropped my phone. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my 12 days of book miss. Hey everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I come to you again still in pajamas. I swear it's the same day. I'm just pre-filming because I work all this week until I go home and I don't have time to film things. <sighs> the struggle is real. You know, semester ends, you're actually on Christmas break and then they schedule me like way more hours than they normally schedule me because everybody else went home already. I'm a good worker, y'all. <laughs> Basically, long rant to explain, I'm pre-filming this video, so there you go. <laughs> I am coming to you guys today to tell you which books I'm bringing home with me for Christmas break to read. That being said, I'm just going to jump on into it because you guys know how this works. I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm bringing. So what am I bringing, you might be asking? Every Cassandra Clare book that I own. The entire Harry Potter series. All of my old textbooks that I need to sell back and my new textbooks. Great idea. Get ahead of my studying. Don't worry you guys, I'm literally totally just kidding. <laughs> I could not read all of his books, even if I tried, but I still want to bring quite a few with me. I don't want to say quite a few, like five or six maybe, because now that I have free time, I'm going to read a lot while I'm on break. The first book you guys might recognize from my New York haul slash book con haul. I almost called it BEA. I didn't go to the BEA portion, but it's Piper Parish by, oh my god, I hate when I do this. I have the dust jacket off. I don't remember her name. Kayla Kagan, Kagan, Kagan. I'm sorry, you guys. I do this every time. This is a book that I'm currently reading. I'm not that far into it right now. But it is about an artist. She is in high school. There's all kinds of trouble between her and some of her friends and an old relationship and worrying about college. But it's pretty good so far. The whole thing's written in that kind of like a journal format. I'm kind of thinking about doing a review for this whenever I finish. Depends on my thoughts on it. But definitely will tell you guys if I like it or not whenever I finish it. The next couple books are poetry books that one of them I had before I came here, one of them I purchased, and the other one I got for Secret Santa. But I figured since they're poetry I'll fly through them pretty quick and honestly that's kind of what I like to do over my breaks whenever I have the time to do it is kind of fly through some of the books on my TBR. Feel a little bit more accomplished that way but now let's have the time to enjoy them. The first one is Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. I think this is the one I showed in my video about which books I was bringing to college. But this is a pretty popular one. I'm sure you guys have seen it floating around on the booktube community or Instagram or Facebook and all those magical places that have talked about this book. So this book is pretty hyped actually right now. Okay, the next one I'm super excited for. I lied. I think I paid full price for this one too, but I bought it from Target and it was like 30 or 40% off. Something like that. It was on sale whenever I got it, which is totally fine by me. But I had to have it after it came out, and it is The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. And if you do not know who she is, you have to go follow her on Instagram right now. I am absolutely obsessed with her. The funny thing is, I actually followed her on Instagram because I happened to find her before I knew about her book. But she makes some really inspiring posts, and she posts different uh, portions of her poems on social media as well. And she did just get married really, really recently, and I've seen her wedding picture. It was totally an out-of-the-box wedding. It wasn't your stereotypical wedding, but it was gorgeous. It was absolutely beautiful. I'm completely obsessed with her. Like, I think she is the greatest. And now I'm actually finally going to read this. I'm so excited. Which, by the way, it's her, um... I can't even speak right now. I'm, like, already on my little rant about what a great author she is and poet. But, oh, she also has, my brain's all over the place. Breathing, hold on. <laughs> she has another book coming out called The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one. The Witch Doesn't Die in this one. Something along those lines. So, stay tuned for that if you guys have already read this. But, definitely the first thing that caught my eye when that, with this whenever I first opened it up was her dedication in the beginning. It says, for the boy who lived, thank you for inspiring me to be the girl who survived. You may have a lightning bolt to show for it, but my body is a lightning storm. That alone was just gorgeous. And like the little Harry Potter reference, like I was like, yes, loved it. I don't know. I'm really, really excited. I feel like her poetry is going to be very touching and heartfelt and just something that like resonates a lot with me. The third poetry book I'm bringing home with me, I have 
already shown you guys I, as long as that video has gone up before this one at this point but I got it for Secret Santa for my Secret Santa Hannah and it's Adult Lessons by Gabby Hannah which is kind of ironic because Hannah gave it to me Hannah and it's by Gabby Hannah like it's just like lots of Hannahs but I have already mentioned this one in that video and it is Gabby Hannah she is the Gabby show here on YouTube I'm sure you guys have heard of her if you have been on YouTube for any amount of time she's pretty popular um, super funny, but she did write her own poetry and has, as far as I've been concerned, she has done the illustrations herself. I haven't looked into it too much myself, but I think that's what I've heard is that she illustrated it, which makes it even more exciting because I feel like it's just very her. It's very kind of out there and kind of funny, so I think some of her poems would be pretty quirky, so I'm excited for that one. Alright, so the other one I'm going to bring home with me, I'm sure I'm going to fly through. It's the other one that I actually bought full price, which you guys will understand once you see it, because Target pulled through. I found this one day, and I practically screamed and ran for it, because it was the only one there. And, like, you guys don't even know what this means to me to, like, own this and have this in my collection of books, because I, I, I almost cried. I freaked out, you guys. And that's Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. This is his newest book. I can't remember how many years it's been since he released a new book. But I know it's been a few. I want to say five. But I don't know if it's actually that many or not. But what I was told, or not so much told, but what I had observed from watching a few videos on YouTube, apparently he was worried about writing a new book because he wasn't sure if it would live up to the hype that The Fault in Our Stars had produced whenever it got really popular. But he finally did it, and so far, what I've seen, I haven't really seen anything so much about what it's even about, but I know that a lot of people love it, so I'm sure I'm going to love it, I'm going to fly through it. But the reason, you know, I was saying I screamed and fangirled and freaked out, it's a signed copy. I feel like these are very far and few in between, especially with his older books, too. Like, I feel like nobody was ever able to find signed copies unless they happened to meet him, so I feel like this is just, like... This is the insanity that I've always wanted, but it is the coveted J Scribble. I have wanted a signed copy of one of John Green's books since I even knew who John Green was. And I love him and Hank and like, oh my god, have you guys ever watched Crash Course for school? Because their videos are just hilarious. Like, they just seem like such good people. And I'm so excited, you guys. I really wanted to read this book. So, one of the other books, which was crazy because I happened to find this one at this used bookstore and I don't know why this was even at a used bookstore to begin with because from what I've been told, it's a really good and popular book. So, the fact that I found it there was crazy because I've been wanting to read this book for so freaking long. And it's The House of Leaves by, I don't even know his name, excuse me, <laughs> Mark Z. Danielewski, let loose, whatever. You guys know how it is. But this one I've heard nothing but good things about. And it's like written in the weirdest format. Like it's like kind of reminds me of like Illuminae sort of. How it has like the documents and there's only certain things on certain pages. Like there's only small parts on certain pages. And it's very bizarrely written. But I don't know. I think it's some sort of mystery. It's just like normal fiction, so I just think it's some kind of a mystery, honestly. I honestly really couldn't tell you, but the second that I saw it, I had to get it because I knew that I needed to get it cheap at a used bookstore, so I wouldn't have to pay full price for it because I think this book is normally expensive otherwise. But yeah, I literally got this like my first or second week here, the day that I found that bookstore, and I'm excited to read it. Alright, you guys, I am back. It's literally like an hour and a half later. I really need to go to bed because it's... I don't, what time is it? Actually, it's a couple hours later. It's like almost one in the morning right now. Pick out another four books. Now I don't really need to bring like almost ten books home with me, but I'm really worried that if I don't, I'm going to get bored and not have anything to read. So I'm bringing We Should All Be Feminist, which I have mentioned before. I'm going to bring A Wrinkle in Time, because this one is even made into a movie. I just saw the preview the other day, and it looks really good, so I figured I should go ahead and read this. This one's a children's book, though, so I should fly through it. Um... How to Build a Girl by Caitlin Moran. I'm going to bring this because this one sounds good. Like, I'm not bringing any of them because I sound bad. <laughs> and then, of 
course. I really did bring some Cassandra Clare. I'm going to bring the Bang Chronicles and hopefully get through a few of the stories in here. These ones should be quick reads as well.